In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, you will learn how to add volume to objects. You will learn how to make objects have transparent using opacity mask and gradients. I will show you how to correctly use freeform gradient using clipping mask. And also we will increase volume and change colors using blending modes. By the end of this tutorial, you will learn basics of opacity mask, clipping mask, gradients and blending modes, which will allow you to use all these features almost in each illustration or design. You are watching TNT tutorials? Let's move on! Let's begin with this shape, swap fill and stroke. In case if you will simply pick shape and would like to simply apply freeform gradient, this won't work very well for you. You might want to move these points somewhere here, but you obviously can't do this, because this point will be simply deleted, if you will move it outside of these borders. So to avoid this, and to have full control on freeform gradient, we should simply create huge rectangle, apply this shape as clipping mask to this rectangle, and apply freeform gradient to rectangle. So we have only this shape as you can see in layers panel. Let's press M for rectangle tool, draw huge rectangle, let's bring this layer up, hold shift, and select both layers. Right click somewhere here, make clipping mask. We have this shape applied to rectangle as clipping mask. To quickly pick rectangle inside of clipping mask, you can select it here in layers panel, or simply press A for direct selection tool and select this rectangle right here. So with this rectangle selected, gradient, freeform gradient, let's select this point, hold shift, select this point also, and press delete. We have two points only. Let's double click on this one, color picker, pick needed color. We have this point selected right now, and if I would like to create new point, I will create new point with the same color as this point. We need to create another point with this color, so let's pick this one and click here to create new point. As you can see, you can move all points all around, you can move them anywhere in borders of this huge rectangle. Thank you for watching guys, please spend one second right now to support this channel. Click thumbs up, subscribe if you are not my subscriber yet, and leave some short feedback. With these three easy steps you can support this channel and show me that you appreciate what I do for you. Now let's continue. This is correct way to use freeform gradient. Play with points. If you see that you don't need gradient right here, you need it only in this area. Simply pick points with another color and add it somewhere here. Let's move this point. If this space is not enough for you to move points, if you want to move points somewhere here, press V for selection tool and increase size of rectangle inside of this clipping mask. Then G for gradient tool again and move points again. Let's move on with step number two. Let's simply add highlights using pen tool, ellipse tool and width tool. I will pick this color, P for pen tool, you can create shape like this, A for direct selection tool, play with points, handles, then you might want to add another shape like this, simply hold alt, duplicate this shape, rotate it, make it smaller, then A for direct selection tool and adjust this shape. To create such objects, you can also use ellipse tool, as I already told you, L for ellipse tool, draw ellipse or oval, then A for direct selection tool, and do the same as we already did with this object. So basically, you don't even need pen tool to create such easy objects. If you would like to transform this shape even more, and you can't do this as you want to, P for pen tool, this shape must be selected, add new point, A for direct selection tool, and transform it. I will use pen tool to create shape here. Add 
L4 Ellipse tool, to delete point P4 Pen tool and simply click on point. Sometimes you can simply create ellipse, rotate it and move points just a bit. Let's duplicate this ellipse, rotate it again. I will pick this color now. Create brighter objects absolutely in the same way as we've created these ones. Now let me show you how to use Width tool to create such shapes. Let's swap Fill and Stroke. P4 Pen tool. Simply draw line. Properties. Stroke. Round cap. Then Shift plus W for Width tool. And apply it to this line as you need to. You can make object thinner here and change width anywhere you want. After this you will be able to change shape and even play with stroke width. Let's duplicate this line right here. P4 Pen tool. I will add one more point. Shift plus W again. As you can see, we need to place this line inside of clipping mask. And here is how you can easily do this. Select this line, press Ctrl plus C to make a copy. Delete this line. Select any object inside of clipping mask. And press Ctrl plus F. As you can see, we placed object inside of clipping mask. Very quick and easy. So I will duplicate this line again and apply it somewhere here. Let's continue with third step. We will apply opacity mask to this object using transparency panel and gradients. Let's pick this shape, window, transparency. In transparency panel, click on make mask, clip. Let's enter mask mode. Please pay attention that to learn more about Opacity Mask, you should watch these tutorials. Right now I will simply show you quick basics. So we're in Opacity Mask mode. Let's create Rectangle, Gradient, Linear Gradient, it should be black and white, G for Gradient 2, and play with Gradient like this. If you still see some parts of object, that means that you need to change black color to reach black. Let's double click on this slider, click here, select RGB and pick this black color. As you can see, now this part becomes fully invisible, where we have black color. So play with sliders, I think you get the main idea. To return to usual mode, simply click here. To apply the same gradient to all other shapes, you can simply enter mask mode again. Select the rectangle with gradient, press Ctrl plus C, return to usual mode, click here. Now pick this shape for example, make mask, clip, enter mask mode and press Ctrl plus F. After this, simply adjust this rectangle to this shape. G for gradient tool. And play with sliders again. I will do the same with all other objects. What you should pay attention to, that when you have such lines, it's better for you to expand them. Object, expand appearance. To make some objects brighter, simply pick them. Opacity and select Screen Blending Mode. You can see that they are much brighter now. Let's move on with step number 4. Here is how you can easily and quickly create shadows. Let's pick black color first of all. Swap Fill and Stroke. P4 
P4Pen tool, simply draw line, just to start with something. To stop drawing line you can press V for selection tool. And before we will play with stroke width, let's click here on effect, blur, Gaussian blur, preview, and blur this line. OK. Now opacity and change normal blending mode to multiply. After this let's change stroke width. And if you need to change blurring, click here on this applied effect, preview again and change it. Like this. So you should play with stroke width and blur radius. Then everything is simple. We need to place this line inside of clipping mask. Let's press Ctrl plus C. Delete this line. Select some shape inside of this clipping mask, just as we already did. And press Ctrl plus F. Here you go. You can create such shadows on top of this clip group. Blur them. Place them to clip group the same as we already did. Here's how you can also do this. Simply press A for direct selection tool, select this line and press Ctrl F to place the copied line inside of this clip group also. What else I wanted to show you is that you can double click on clip group and then simply duplicate these lines and play with direct selection tool. Play with all these lines until you will get needed result. You can change blurring for some of them. Increase or decrease it. Just feel free to experiment. To return to usual mode, simply double click somewhere on the workspace. And last step. Step number 5. Let's pick base object. Find it here. Press Ctrl plus C and then Ctrl Shift V. Now we have copy of this base shape on top of all layers. I will apply solid color just for you to understand better. So we have this shape copied and we need to apply step number one. We need to create freeform gradient and clipping mask. So let's create huge rectangle again. Select these layers, right click. Make clipping mask, A for direct selection tool, let's pick rectangle inside of this clipping mask, gradient, freeform gradient, let's delete unnecessary points and apply black and white color to these points. Here we will apply black color and leave white for this one. After this, V for selection tool, properties, opacity, and change blending mode of this rectangle with freeform gradient to any of these blending modes, you should play with them. Right now we will apply soft light. But you can try all of them. Let's make this layer invisible. And you can see that we have much more volume here. After we applied black and white, soft light here. Now you can simply pick this black and white freeform gradient shape, Ctrl C, Ctrl Shift V again and apply another blending modes. Overlay for example. Play with opacity. Take a look at changes. Make some layers invisible. Overlay invisible and overlay visible. We have much more depth here with overlay. And in layers panel, drag soft light on top of overlay, play with opacity and even try some other blending modes. So here is how it works. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below. Let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you will click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.